put to task by senators over state auditors' findings that the Department of Health mismanaged 67 billion pesos in taxpayers' money, Secretary Francisco Duque last week said the controversy left him sleepless with his reputation in tatters. Winarat na ninyo kami eh! Winarat na ninyo! Ang dagal ng DOH! Winarat ninyo ang lahat ng mga kasama ko dito! I think COA should also consider that we're not operating under normal circumstances. We're operating under a state of public health emergency. Winarat na ninyo kami eh! Winarat na ninyo ang dangal ng DOH! Winarat ninyo ang lahat ng mga kasama ko dito! Hindi kami makaharap sa mga tao dahil lahat ang dami-daming sinasabi, ang dami-daming paratang. Wala pa rin akong tulog! Ilang gabi na po ito! That emotional clip has since gone viral, becoming a new meme on the internet that told the health secretary this. Don't pull the sad boy card when you're a government official who is being held to account. But what is a sad boy? For the benefit of those who don't know, the term sad boy is pretty straightforward. It's from the compound term sad boy, which is a mix of two simple words, sad and boy. But the change of Y to I is pretty telling of how modern the rather old behavior has become, as Gen Z redefined the term to accommodate the highly nuanced internet culture we have today. According to the Urban Dictionary, sad boy is Gen Z's version of the emo. Typically used in the context of online dating, the sad boy is defined in Western culture as having oddly specific traits. But for all the specificity in these descriptions, the sad boy has but one defining characteristic as the name suggests. They glorify negative emotions and depressed mental states to gain sympathy. In Filipino, they use what we call the paawa effect. Often seen as a fetishization of men's vulnerability or lack thereof, sad boys have become the butt of jokes on the internet in recent years. Young Filipinos in particular have made countless of memes out of the sad boy persona's manipulative tendencies. If you need a more specific example, some actually say John Lloyd Cruz's character in the 2007 blockbuster film One More Chance invented the sad boy in Filipino popular culture. (laughs) <laughs> so, was Secretary Duque really being a sad boy? Well, the internet, dominated by young people who know sad boy best as they coined the term, seems to be in consensus that he was. Some even pointed out that Duque was trying to appeal to the emotion committing what high school English calls as the logical fallacy of argumentum ad passiones, which is characterized by the manipulation of the recipient's emotions in order to win an argument, especially in the absence of factual evidence. So, to DOH and all other agencies flagged by COA, be ready to account for how you use public funds if you don't want to be a meme. To begin with, it's how the job should be done.